Hey, Chris with Daymaker Touring here, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust or reposition the elevator system on the first generation Daymakers. So, right now, uh, you're set up like this with a lever on either side, and right now this elevator is pretty, maybe a little tight. We might want to make that a little easier to open, uh, but if your elevators are too loose and they don't maybe, you know, don't snap up with enough security. I'll show you guys how to do a quick little adjustment here and tune that to make it fit the way you want it or feel the way you want it to feel. So the first step here is to unbolt our heel screw and uh, you just need to do the one that runs through the elevator block. And then sometimes you kind of have to press these guys out. It's really in there. All right. So now you want to pull up on this guy to separate it. And pull out these bushings to free up the elevator block. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're going to take apart the elevator block. So you have two sides here. One's got, you can kind of see it. So the Phillips screw and the nut, you want to go in with your screwdriver, hit that Phillips, loosen these screws up all the way. You don't have to take them out, but just loosen them up. Alright, and bada boom, the elevator block will pull apart, and these captured nuts in here, they, you could pop them out, but there's really no reason to, so I would just leave them in. And now you want to remove this little rubber cap from either side. And these guys, you might need to wiggle them out, but uh, there we go. They pull out. Alright. So here we have... The two different elevators. If the elevator is too difficult to snap up, what you can do here when you have it at this point is you can give these guys a little bit of a squeeze together. You might need to use some pliers or something like that, but uh, it doesn't take much, just a little bit, and then that will uh, make the elevator easier to snap up. And so these are both kind of difficult, so I'm going to do that same thing there, but uh, accordingly, if they're too easy to snap up and down and you want to have them snap up a little bit more securely you know you would just open these up a little bit and they'll hold the bend and that extra pressure in there will make the snap a lot tighter but you know from the factory they should be good but sometimes over time if they wear out or anything like that you can do a quick little adjustment there to make it fit your needs so after we get these guys adjusted we're going to put them back together and the other thing you can do here is reconfigure these elevators so that both elevators come out on one side. And you know, you might find this is easier to use and I kind of like to run them on the inside so that I can reach down and uh, you know, reach both sets of elevator levers from the inside uh, of the daymakers. So the way we're going to position those is with this set here, this is the other pair that I already did already. You can see that this will be on the inside and is going to be, you know, a lot easier to lift up both sides when uh, you're in that hiking position. So what we're going to do now is put these guys back together and you just feed them in. Um, leave it there and it doesn't matter what order you put these in, you can do either or. And you have the loose assembly. You want to take this guy make sure that they go together right. 
and you'll see that they don't, you know, there's some squish there. So we need to, you know, make sure you hold this together while we grab our screwdriver and we're going to tighten this guy back up. And you can see that these two parts are going to squish together there. And that's going to show you that it's tight. And drop this other screw that came out in. Alright, so it's nice and tight. And now we can see that these work a little nicer. And put our little rubber end caps back over them. And now we are ready to go. Okay. And so now we're going to put the whole thing back together. Grab our bushings. So you just hold this guy in between there. And then the bushing is going to press in and hold in place like that. And then bring her back together. Okay, I'm going to take this apart. It's a little maybe maybe a little easier here to pull the heel. All right. And what you need to do. So you might need to depending on how tight yours are. You might need to kind of force these guys in here a little bit. There we go. Squish them together and you'll see that it all mates up right there. Now we're going to come take our heel plate, put it back in the position that we had it in. I like to set the elevator first. You might need to push this bolt in on like a table. It's pretty, pretty tight sometimes, but you can see it goes in. Put your washer on and your nut and do that on the front. And I'm missing a washer here, but you get the idea. And that right there is how you can reset up and reconfigure your elevators. Thank you.